Hi, boys and girls. So this week you have a really fun activity. You are going to be creating a mystery picture on a coordinate grid. And uh, not only will you be creating it, but you will also be writing the directions using ordered pairs so that someone else could read your directions, follow your ordered pair directions, plot the points, and get the same mystery picture that you created. So first thing you want to do is you want to watch this video because you all are used to the X and Y axis. But this is going to explain to you the negative numbers on the X and Y axis. And then you're going to watch this video explaining to you how there are four quadrants in the coordinate plane. So that you will want to read all of these directions very carefully. But just a few highlights. You can only use straight lines. Use at least 60 ordered pairs. And you have to use at least five shapes. So let's look at an example of what that might look like. So here we've got an angry bird. We can see he is created with straight lines. Here's the y-axis and the x-axis. Part of him is on each of the four quadrants. And it tells us here it's composed of 10 shapes. Remember, you have to use at least five. <clears throat> so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 shapes. So how many do you need? At least five. So let's take a look at how you are going to create the direction so that somebody else can create the same picture you did. For each shape, you will fill in a table with the ordered pairs and the quadrant that they're in. Remember one, two, and three are easy. Four in Roman numerals looks like this because a V represents five. One before five is four. So this is quadrant four. Notice there's some negative numbers as well as positive numbers. So here they've got the directions for the big circle, the directions for one eyebrow, the directions for the other eyebrow. There would be seven other tables because there's 10 shapes. This only tells you how to draw three of the 10 shapes. So this is just an example. And here are some other examples of possible mystery pictures. And you're reminded again, at least six ordered pairs and at least five shapes. So again, go back and you read these directions very carefully, making sure you are following all of the directions. You will be graded using a rubric, overall presentation, math accuracy, complexity of picture, follow directions. So again, you're gonna wanna read this rubric very carefully, make sure you know what 25 points for each of these looks like so that you end up with 100 points. All right, so let's take a look at the, what the coordinate grid looks like. So here's the coordinate grid. You all are going to be so, I know there's so many great artists out there that you can draw a picture on here very simply without any hesitation. Just keep in mind you have to have at least five parts. If you're like me, I do not, I'm not the greatest artist. So I would have to use Google to help me out. So let me show you how I might use Google. I would uh, type in here, simple butterfly, because I've been into butterflies lately. And it's gonna give you all this stuff on butterflies, but we want just images. So I'm gonna click on images. Again, there's a lot of stuff on here. They've got crafts and different kinds of stuff like that. So I want to be more specific. So I'm going to come here to tools and right here where it says type, I'm going to click on line drawings because that's what I want because I'm going to have to draw lines on here. So you can see all these different butterflies. So let's say I choose, uh, let me choose this butterfly here. I'm going to click on the butterfly right click and copy the image. Then I'm gonna go back to my coordinate grid, right click and paste the image. Now look at all of this white back here. That's not gonna help me. I don't know what, what coordinate point these lines are on. So let's undo that. And I'm gonna come back over here and I wanna show you a trick. 
Let's go back up here. If I come over here to color and pick transparent, that will only give you pictures where the background is transparent. Okay, these are still really complicated. A lot of them look like there would be a lot more than five because this would be one, two, three. So very complicated. Another, another thing you can look at is clip art. Now you can see how simple they are. I really like this butterfly. So I'm going to click on it. And now you can see that the background is not going to show. I'm going to right click, copy image, go to my mystery picture, right click, paste image. Now at this point, what I would probably do, uh, one of your options, is to print this out. And if you do decide to print this out and then use your pencil to plot different points on here, it will only print this and not the tables. So you'll have to print the next couple of pages to record your tables. Another thing you might consider is using the red dots. So if you move the red dot, it's probably gonna go under the butterfly. So I would right click, send the butterfly to the back so that, let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use these red dots. I'm gonna put, let me move the, I think I might move the butterfly over a little bit. So one, oh, let's see, put the red dot right there. I gotta make sure that butterfly is in inside the coordinate plane. All right, so my one first dot is there, and then I'm gonna be thinking about straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, maybe right there. And then, uh, then I'm gonna get my next one, and I'm gonna be thinking, okay, I'm gonna draw straight line, straight line, straight line, so maybe there. It doesn't have to follow the exact, you're using this butterfly as image as a model. It doesn't have to follow that exactly. And so you can continue grabbing these dots and thinking about where you would draw these lines. Now, the other thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to record each of these dots, right? So this first, let's look at this first dot here. On the y, on the x-axis, and you know what would help me if I make this transparent? I'm going to click on the butterfly format options and I'm going to make it somewhat transparent so I could see the numbers underneath. Uh, you don't have to do that but it would help me so much. All right so this first one on the x-axis it's not in the positives it's in the negative so it's negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So negative 15 So I'm gonna put negative 15 comma, so I know it's the next number, and now I have to look at my y-axis. So going down is negative, going up is positive. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So 15, 11. Let's check my next point. And actually, I'm gonna put it right here just so that you can just so we can talk about how to record this one here. So if I go negative, it's negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna record negative nine, comma, and then let's look at my y-axis. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's between nine and 10. So that would be about 9.5. So 9.5. So I would continue doing this. So this would probably be shape one, shape two, shape three, shape four, shape five, shape six, shape seven, shape eight. Okay, if you need, um, oops. If you need more than more ordered pairs, if you go to the 